Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we'll look at the Parkour minigame plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create different parkour maps for your players to try out. There's some really cool features, there are different blocks that do various different effects and overall it's easy to set up. So first of all we're going to right click the join sign to join the game and then if we change our minds we could hit the leave sign to leave of course. But let's go ahead and give it a go. So the first thing is these checkpoints, you need to complete all of them to complete the map. And then if you hit this stone block you will die and go back to either the start or the last checkpoint you're at. Then there are signs where you can give a player a certain effect such as healing or you know, damage if you wanted to be mean. And there are certain blocks which do things. So this block will give you a massive jump boost like this. Um, and obviously you want to be careful that you don't lose all your health doing that. So if I were to jump on it and then go to another block, it'd be a good idea to have a heal sign like that. Then we have our second checkpoint, you can see. And if I can actually get to the other side, we've got some more blocks. So this brick will allow us to climb up on it, which is pretty cool. And then we've got two blocks here. So the mossy cobblestone gives us a jump boost and the obsidian gives us a speed boost. And then obviously if we hit that stone block again, we will be teleported back to our checkpoint. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually complete the map. I'm going to go on the third checkpoint and now I just need to make it to the end and I failed so let's give this another go and then on my right you can see all the other blocks which will do various things we'll uh, we'll talk about that really struggling to finish this let's see if I can do it and this mushroom is going to be the finish block and there we go you can see in chat I finished in 1 minute 28 seconds so not a fast time and if I right click the leaderboard sign it's going to show my fastest time is 33 seconds with one death so that is the map that I created, pretty bad, but you can make far better ones than me. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So if you do for slash p a set lobby, that is just going to set your default lobby. And then what we need to do is go to the beginning of the map and then we can do p a create followed by a name. I'm just going to call it test two. And that is going to create uh, the start point. Next, we can set as many checkpoints as we want. So what I'm going to do is just set one here and we are going to look in the direction we want to be looking and do PA checkpoint and then a number. So this is going to be checkpoint one and a pressure plate will appear. Then we can go ahead and do the same thing for checkpoint number two. So just put it on a block where you want it to be and that's going to set checkpoint two. Finally, do the same thing for your last checkpoint or however many you have and that's going to be checkpoint three. So what else can you do? Well, if you put a sign here, you can put an effect on it. So do parkour in square brackets up at the top, effect on the second line and the effect name on the third line. So damage doesn't actually work. It's got to be a proper effect like healing um, or jump boost or whatever. Um, so that is how you would do that. And then obviously you could litter the course with all these custom blocks you can see here. If you do PA kit, it makes it super easy and gives you all of these blocks. So to end the map, you need this mushroom. That's going to be the finish block. So put that right at the end. And you can see there's other blocks like repulse block, no run, delete potion, launch block. And once you're happy with that, you can do four slash PA finish. And that is going to set the ready status for test two to true. And then we can go ahead and give it a go. So brackets PA or parkour on the top, join and then test two on the third line. You can also create a leaderboard, so parkour on the top line, leaderboards on the second line, the map name on the third line, and then the amount of people it lists, so three people it will list. Then we can go ahead and give it a go, so hopefully I can get a pretty good time for this. I'm not the best parkour person, so we will give it a go. And it's looking like a pretty good victory, and I kind of cheated there, and I got 15 seconds with zero deaths. So if I right-click the uh, sign now, it will show me as the top person on the leaderboard. And if you want to give the players a prize, you can do PA prize test two, and then choose either material, command, or XP. So just type in, uh, let's go with material for this one, and then it'll ask which type of material. I'm going to go with diamonds, and then how many do we want? Well, we want five diamonds to win, and then we should be rewarded with five diamonds and there we go so we've got our reward this time there we go and that is how you would set that up so here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.16 and if you have a look there's a ton of information on the spigot page you can click this parkour tutorials to go to github and there's a ton of information on here about how to set things up and then if you need any other support or have a question you can go to their discord and then if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. 
But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.